What's going on, Fearless Family? Anthony here. So I wanted to share with you guys today three essential openers that turn women on. Let's jump into it. Now, I know if you guys have been watching our channel long enough, you've heard Brian say that it's not what you say, but who you're being when you're said, and that couldn't be more true. Now, I wanna talk about that a little bit. The lines that I give you guys here are very simple lines that some of you guys are gonna be like, that's it? And yes, that's it. Because again, it's not about the line you say. It's not about how outrageous the line is. It's not about how silly the line is that affects the girl. Again, it always comes back to your energy. Who are you being in that moment? Are you being a dude that's grounded, solid, and really just owning what he's saying? Or are you, doing, are you being a guy who's nervous, who's fidgety, who's not really owning what he's saying, and who doesn't look or feel congruent to the words that are coming out of his mouth? That's what they're looking at. Now, if you're confident, and obviously I know you guys are here working on your confidence, a lot of you guys are not there yet, but as I'm saying, when you guys are confident and it comes across in your energy, you guys can get away with saying some really outrageous things, like some really outrageous stuff, some really far out there sexual stuff that most people would shy away from or just really be terrified to even say to a girl that you just met in a grocery store, X, Y, Z, out in the park. Uh, again, because it comes down to how solid are you when you say it, because when you're solid, it transmits in their body as not a threat. It's nothing to worry about. This is just how this guy is. He's funny. He's charming. He's a little bit more sexual. Not a big deal. He's not doing it in a creepy way. He's not being creepy. And that makes it very playful. So when you come up and you say something that has a little bit more sexual tension in it, she'll laugh and giggle versus spraying you with mace and calling the cops, okay? So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into these liners so you guys can get out there and actually start using them. My favorite open liner, and it's something that comes very natural to me, because over time, I use it out of practice at first, and it started to just become second nature. The reason that it works for me is that it feels really true when I say it, because it is really true when I say it. I don't like to use lines that, don't, that are not congruent with what I'm feeling in the moment. So my favorite open liner is always, Hey, hi, I'm sorry, I came over to meet you, I thought you were beautiful. Or something like, uh, hey, I saw you from over there, I had to come meet you, I thought you were beautiful. It only works because I truly believe it in my body. If I didn't believe it in my body, it would come across as if it was just a line versus me actually being turned on by what I'm saying or turned on by the girl. Because again, we always talk about this, right? comes back to the energy, it comes back to what energy are you transmitting it as you're saying. And when you're coming from a place like your head, it's not going to feel the same as it does when it comes from, let's say you got your heart open, you're feeling your, your turn on in your body for this girl because you're like, oh my God, this girl actually is really beautiful, Jesus Christ. And you gotta get over there and meet her. That stuff hits like a train, right? And so when it hits like a train, she knows you're not lying, she knows you're not bullshitting or BSing her. She's like, okay, this guy is, this guy is sincere. And then that's what makes her laugh and giggle or even get more curious about you to where she wants to slow down and then drop in and have a conversation with you. So go out there and try this one, but only try it if it's congruent with what you're feeling. Now you could always find ways to modify it to fit what you're feeling. So let's say if you see a girl walking down the street and there is something about her, let's say she's cute, she's got a, a look that you like about her, then I'd say get over there and say that say the most thing, the thing that's most concurrent with you because it's always going to come back to your body language in that sense so again mine is hey i saw you over there i thought you were beautiful i had to come say hi and again it comes down to that grounding uh how solid are you when you say it are you wavering are you fidgeting versus being solid feeling your legs feeling your body holding that eye contact especially creating that bubble and then letting it go straight through her and dropping and not wavering because it has to take an effect on her it literally has to go through her so she feels in her body emotionally, so she can process it. Do I trust this guy or don't? Is this real or is he just giving me lines? And you have to hold that frame for a bit so she knows that you're serious and you want her attention. Because a lot of guys would do it and then their eye contacts will waver, they'll go somewhere else because they'll start to get nervous, their heart will start pacing really fast versus just dropping in and owning it. So the second one is, hi, how are you? Sounds simple, right? Because it is simple. And the reason that hi, how are you doing works is because it's very low tension and people don't mind answering those questions. So if you saw a girl in the grocery store and you're like, hey, how you doing, how's your day going? And she'll respond to that, right? Because it's low tension. Now, the reason this one is so effective is because, think of it like a submarine, right? It's like, it goes underwater, you don't even know, you don't even know 
person doesn't even know you're, flirt, you're flirting with them and then you spring up on them, boom. <laughs> In a weird way, that's actually how it works, right? Now, the thing with this one is you have to ask more questions after. You have to talk a little bit more after than to say the first one I gave you where it's like, hey, how you doing? I thought you are beautiful. That one has a lot more context and a lot more intent in it because you're letting her know that, hey, I'm here to flirt with you. Now, this one's a little bit different because you're kind of just giving a little bit and you have to keep it going in that direction of flirting. So what I would do if I was in a store and I met a girl and I was saying, hey, how you doing? How's your day going? And she's like, oh, it's going good. How's your day going? You know, to me, that's already like, okay, cool. She's asking me questions back. There's a, there's a potential for something here. So I'll talk to her for a little bit and I'll just kind of dig a little bit. Like, cool, what are you up to today? Or what are you looking, what are you looking for? What are you searching for? You know what I mean? And she might be like, ah, uh, oh, you know, I just can't get some breakfast. Like, cool, all right, nice, nice. Cool, what do you like to eat? I like to use that one as an opener. Now you can take that so many ways and that's the beauty of, of that one, right? Cause it's, it's, it's as simple as high. And a lot of your interactions are gonna come down to it being as simple as high. Once you work all the kinks out of the nervousness, the self-esteem stuff that starts to come up, you'll start to realize how you really have to do is go in the store and say hi. But again, sometimes being direct can be a lot more fun because it just penetrates all that. It's just like, hey, boom, I like you. Let's have this conversation like this. Uh, so again, my second essential one is walking up to a girl and just saying, hey, how are you doing? And then taking it from there. Okay, so this third one is probably my favorite one because it packs a lot of tension in it. What we always say here at Fearless is tension creates polarity in an interaction with a girl. So you want to polarize so that she knows very clearly that what I'm saying to you is coming from a place of I am attracted to you, I'm turned on by you. So there's no gray area. There's not going to be like her not certain about what you're there for because that creates confusion that's unnecessary. You just want to go straight forward put it all out there, put all the cards on the table and then see how she responds to it. Now, this third opener is a, you are extremely sexy in that outfit. Like you, or you look sexy in those heels. Like those, those yoga pants are super sexy on you. Now, the reason why this works is because one, it's polarizing and two, it shows your ability to create tension and handle tension. Not only tension, but you're creating sexual tension, right? Which shows a girl that you're not creepy around sex. You don't have hangups and stories or weirdness around sex. You can be very open sexually and fun sexually. So in her mind or in her body, she's probably like, who is this guy? He's kind of fascinated and kind of curious about him. So she's going to start asking you a little bit more questions about yourself because you're so open and expressive in that way. What a lot of men do and earlier on me, I did a lot was I would get the words out that you were sexy in these heels or you were sexy in these yoga pants. And then my body would cringe up and tighten because I wasn't congruent with or comfortable with my sexuality towards women yet. And so it came across in what I was saying and how I was saying it. So I had to say it. So if you find yourself wavering or cringing up after you say something like this, that's going to be the reason that you don't get the number or that you don't get the date. So you got to get a little bit more secure in your sexuality, a little more secure in the fact that you like women, you like sexy women. We're on earth, we're here to procreate. Sex is such a huge part of our society and our, and our infrastructure. So get used to being a little bit more sexual, a little bit more open and straightforward and honest because when you start to do that, when you start to say these openers, they come off quite differently than you do when you're nervous, right? They'll hit a lot differently, you'll come off as confident and then she wants to get to know you, wants to get your number, wants to go out to lunch with you, wants to take you to the bedroom versus being standoffish and kind of creepy about the situation okay so anyways guys that's the third one i hope these uh openers help you i want you guys to go out and i want you guys to practice them i don't want you to turn them into a technique i don't want you to take my lines and then make them your lines i want you to take my lines and modify them in a way that is actually congruent with what you're feeling about this girl that you see because if you're out there just using my lines emotionally you're not going to be congruent with it anyway and it's not going to reach because again if you're not feeling it, you're probably just saying it from your head as a line. And if you're feeling it in your body and this girl's actually turning you on, the words are gonna come out a lot different. Words are gonna come out in a way that they affect her so much that she knows that you're not lying, you're not bullshitting, that you actually are interested and invested in her. So go out, find what really turns you on about a woman and then go over there and share that, okay? Anyways, guys, Anthony here with Phyllis. Remember, hit the like and subscribe button. If you have more questions about this stuff, put them in the comments, okay guys? We wanna help you guys as much as we can. And also remember, only the confident really look.